Hello my crafty friends. This is Roxanne Tucker coming to you with a project. A make. So this is what you need. First you need a heart of whatever kind. I had gotten these at the dollar store. Uh, dollar twenty-five, I believe for four. Paints. I'm choosing the red. And of course a paintbrush and glue and sequence or you know glitter you can have it thick or thin whatever you prefer okay let's get started first thing we're going to do is open the little pod now these are paints i had gotten at michael's seven something for two sets two sets of these along with a brush so that's not too bad I don't believe now let's get painting I'm choosing the red I like red I also like the pink so have it ready there now With the red, generally, you'll probably only need one coat. Now, the red is pretty thick. It's an acrylic. Um, I think, like I said, it was seven something for the package with the little pods. Now, they're pretty thick. They're good. And they cover really well, I have to say. So. This is what we'll do. Yep. Valentine's is only next month. It's around the corner. So it's nice to have your crafts done and things ready. There we go. Generally, what I do with it is I will take the... Like, if you look at it while you're painting it, sometimes you see little streaks. And I will go over that, like again with my brush, so as to take the streak out. So that way then you don't, you know, you don't have any lumps or bumps. And also as well, I, here we go. What I do is, if there's anything like in the little edges where I have this elaborate design in the heart, sometimes the uh, the ink, or excuse me, not ink, the paint will build up there. So I'll just brush it to get rid of it. Like so. Do you see that there? I'm not sure. I'll go up like that and like that to make sure we get it. Now, I will hold this this way. Okay. Get any spots I missed. Okay. It's a very nice red, I must say. It's beautiful. I also got some metallic colors. The metallic red, though, I wasn't very fond of. It didn't come up like a true red, I found. So this one that was really good, I must say. I really like it. Now let me see. Okay. Let's see if we've got it all. Now you could do in there if you want it, but you know, I'm not going at that. Don't need to. Just have a look, see if you missed any spots. This dries really fast too, by the way. It's really, really good. Okay. Now, this one's painted. So we'll put him right here, close this up. Now, the next one we're going to do is this hot pink color. Now, I'm going to just go and wash my brush, okay? I will be right back. Just wash. 
wash it off in the sink with some water. I'm not being too picky. If I was thinking, I would have had stuff, you know, there prepared. But that's it. Now, where's my other one? Here's another one. We'll give this a chance to dry. So what we'll do now is we'll do the hot pink. Okay. The hot pink generally needs two coats. It's not the same, as you can see. Doesn't cover as well as that red. Not with the wood anyway. But like I said, you can get any type of uh, any type of heart you like. You can probably get a really sweet looking one like this. No problem at the dollar stores or wherever. I don't know if Michaels carry them or not. I remember when I first got it, I had gotten it to do my cookies because I couldn't find the solid hearts. As you'll see in a previous video, if you haven't seen it, just look back and you will find it. So, let me see, get this one done. That's the most, I suppose the longest part of it is the painting. I probably could have done it beforehand, which is something that I would normally do, but I thought you might like to see the process to see how, you know, it's done. It's not difficult, that's for sure. <coughs> so anyway, let's keep this going. And it washes up really well with water, as long as you get it while it's still, still wet. Okay. Let me see. Let's get to the other side. Okay. Now I'm going a little, probably a little faster than I normally do, because I don't want to keep you too long. Okay. Let's see. So I think those little swirls are beautiful. I think they make it really, really nice. Now we're almost done. Okay. There we go. And if you wanted to, you could always, you know, do your own while you're watching the video because you can watch a video more than once. Whatever makes you happy. And whatever it takes to do it. I know I've watched videos more than once when I've been doing a, a project that I, you know, wasn't familiar with. Mind you, this is fairly easy anyway. Okay, let me see. Okay. I think we've got all the streaks and stuff out of it. I think so, and I think it's covered. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit right there. There we go. Now sometimes you get little pieces showing up through the wood. That's okay. And if you're picky about it, just when you buy them, use one that doesn't have a little spot or what have we into it. So that's that one. Nice pink, isn't it? So we've got the red and the pink. Now we'll check and see how dry that red is. Okay. There we go. I'll just lay that here for now. I'll worry about it later. There we go. Just a little bit of paper towel. Now let's check, shall we? Yeah, it's not bad pretty good now I could probably do it over again with another layer of paint from the looks of the way I painted that but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you the next step so you will need a container of some kind okay so let's get going all right I'll put that right here now here's the glue now I'm using a Martha Stewart glue, just one I had there, and I got it on sale for like a dollar something. It was nothing, if you know what I mean. It wasn't a whole lot, but it doesn't matter what glue you use, okay? 
this one sometimes I find is a little bit of a, a pain because it comes all the ways up around. So what we're going to do is we're going to put glue over the top of it. Spread it out the best you can. Another little bit. Okay, and have a look to make sure that you've got all the sections of it. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're getting there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. So you can see the glue that's going on there. Like I said, you can use anything for glue. Anything, just spread it on out. Okay. Make sure you get all of it though, because it'll make a difference. Okay, because you want the glitter to adhere to it. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, we've had a lot of snow lately, I must say. My goodness, you get so tired of the snow after a while. And when winter's gone, then you're glad to see the snow go. But it makes it really pretty outside, doesn't it? Okay, let me see. Okay, make sure I got enough. Try not to have it too thick in some places. All right, I think we're good. That's okay. I think so. Okay. Now, here's our container. We're going to drop that right there into our plastic container. That's one I got just a uh, packaging off of some of the stuff I got from the Halloween gear. So anything will do. So let's take our, uh, what would you call it, dust or whatever. Well, actually, it's a bit bigger. Sprinkle it all over. Don't worry about how much it is. You put on how much or how little you want. Now, I'll put the cover on that so I don't spill it. And let's, there we go. Give it a couple of flicks, shall we? Okay, now let's take this to make sure it's not, you know, you can see those lovely spots that are there. Oh, okay. Okay, it's all good. Let me see. Okay. Now, now there's a little spot there that didn't seem to get much, so I'm going to put it on it. Okay. So, here it is. Not dry yet. So tell me what you think. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, I've already done a pink one. So I will show you that as well. This pink one is more dry. Let me know which one you like the best. This one's not completely dry yet, so, you know, the sparkle will be even better. When it's dry, oh, here we go. So what do you think of that idea of making a heart, making it sparkle? Nice Halloween uh, project to do, I think. So that's that one. And here is our pink one. I hope you love it. And there's just one that's just painted. You can leave them solid if you wish. You know, whatever it is that that makes you happy. And maybe I could use a different type of sparkle on the red. I don't know. But 
but uh, I think they're gorgeous. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I hope you liked my video. Please like and subscribe. I would really love it if you would leave a comment. And subscribe, I would love that as well. I want to thank you so much for watching my video. Bye for now.